Hey, what's up, everybody? Fred Minnick here, and I'm wearing a sweater from 23 years ago. Look at that. My old Delta Chi sweater I got when I was a freshman in college, and I can still wear it, although it's really torn up. I mean, it's still going, but uh, I'm still wearing it, and that shows you that I may be fat, but I didn't get that fat where I can't wear my new sweater, or my old sweater. Anyway, you're not here to... Listen to me opine about my sweater quality and sweater keeping abilities. Uh, I am here to talk about the new Angels Envy Cash Strength, which we got here. I got here today. Ooh, or actually, I got this, you know, a couple weeks ago. I'm just now getting into uh, to tasting this. Uh, but before I get into the tasting, I've got two events left on the calendar. November 10th, next week on the Marine Corps birthday, uh, I'm doing a USO benefit at the Washington Nationals Park. Please come to Blind Bourbon. There are blindfolds. You're going to taste some allocated bourbon blind and see how they rank. Uh, but tickets are in the description for that. And November 14th, I'm doing a vintage Old Forester uh, bur bourbon dinner at uh, Watch Hill Proper. In, uh, in my neighborhood, actually. So check those things out. I'm also in the middle of organizing a Florida hurricane benefit. Stay tuned for details on that. So about this, uh, this Angel's Envy. First of all, everybody, you know, I know I'm the worst in the world at remembering to tell you what the price is. Okay, so I'm just going to get to that right now. It's north of uh, $220. Um I can't find the actual SRP, but I know it's north of 220. Even still, even though that's the SRP, you're not going to most likely get it for that in um, in a liquor store. People are going to jack it up. So um, hopefully this review will help. If you happen to come across one of the 19,000... Uh, my God, I can't even talk. If you happen to come across one of the 16,980 bottles available at retail nationwide, all 50 states, um, you know, you're more than likely to pay more than SRP. So, you know, just hopefully my tasting, my review can help you uh, determine whether or not you want to whatever. But even still, taste for yourself at a bar. Listen to other people. Don't just listen to me. So here we go. This is the package they sent me. Pretty nice little package. Uh, but I will tell you, the thing I love about Angel's Envy with their media kits that they do better than anybody is they send these, uh, these coasters. And I have a lot of these coasters. So I tell you what, the first person to... Uh, I You know what? Email me. Email me at fredminnick.com. Go to fredminnick.com and click contact and say you would like these coasters and I will do a drawing out of those people who email me and uh, and whoever you know gets the randomized thing will will get this get this you know probably it's just uh, leather coasters from uh, Clayton and uh, Kroom and they're awesome they're my favorite coasters they're absolutely awesome all right so here we are uh, a little bit more about the the actual whiskey. This was a uh, seven year uh, Kentucky bourbon, and then they finished it in in uh, two different uh, uh, port barrels, uh, one for eleven months and one for fourteen months. And that's my little media sample there. Ooh, they got a uh, weird little uh, piece of tape there. Here we go. I mean, me wearing this old sweater, I can, uh, I feel myself walking through the Oklahoma State campus with my backpack on. You know, I'm uh, walking by Duck Pond. I see some thetas. I'm like, hey, what's up? What's up? What's going on? I see some Kappas over here, some, uh, some Tri Delts over here. Hey, what's going on? Y'all come to the party later? You know, that's, uh, got this, I got this like college feel cause my son and I were about to go to, a, an Oklahoma state game. I'm taking my son to, to an Oklahoma state game for the first time. Cannot wait. And, uh, we're going to go see us uh, play Iowa state. I realize our season has taken a nosedive. Um, and, uh, but still I can't wait. 
And yes, I know a lot of you are here just for the tasting. You don't want to hear me talk, so I'll shut up now and get into it. But hey, you know what you get when you click that watch button with me. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Let's see. So the press release has uh this is the first press release I've seen from them since they hired a new master distiller, Owen Martin. Uh, Owen came from Stranahan's and, uh, you know, very, very talented individual. Now, a lot of people have uh, said, like, oh, I noticed Kyle Henderson was in the master distiller. He didn't want it, so he wanted to go in a different direction. He's still with the company. You know, the Hendersons are still there. But uh, it's just it's just interesting for me to see a quote from someone that is not, uh, not a Henderson in an Angel's Envy press release. Okay, so this smells this smells a lot like butter, toffee. I mean, it's 119 proof. What is it exactly? Uh, 119 point six. Is that right? I I need new glasses. Let me go to the computer machine. 119 point eight. Looks like a six on that little bottle. Need new glasses. Ooh, I need new glasses. So it smells like butter. It smells like toffee, hot toffee. It smells sweet. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. A lot of chocolate here. A lot of apricot. Some pear, a little hint of banana, uh, banana bread more specifically. I'll taste that again. I spilled half of it on my beard. And I guess that sweater is bringing back the college days in me after all. I'm spilling bourbon all over myself. Or shall I say... A bourbon finished in a port barrel, which I never spilled on myself in college because they did not exist in college. That's a throw out to my bourbon geeks. Mm. So uh, those notes that I mentioned before, the fruits, the chocolate, still there. We got some spice, but I don't know if this is pepper spice or baking spice. So I'm going to have to taste it again. It is it's a baking spice, but I can't really define it. It just kind of um kind of a nisi. Maybe it's maybe it's like a cross between cardamom and clove. Maybe it's a blended spice of cardamom, clove, and cinnamon with a little bit of anise in there. Saffron, maybe. Maybe some saffron. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is really, really, really tasty. Um, I will be shocked if this is not, you know, if this is not somebody's whiskey of the year. I'm not saying it's going to be mine. I'm not even going to say it's going to be in the top ten. But I'm just saying I know people's palates out there. And this is going to be, you know, this is going to be a real home run for people who like, uh, like pear, pear notes and chocolate kind of combo with like some weird, weird spices. This is a, a really, really great, great pour if you like those kind of complicated variety of notes. Um, but is it worth the money? Well, Here's where it's not worth the money. It is not worth the money if you are a traditional bourbon drinker. Notice all the things that I said in my notes were not caramel. For my palate, I don't get a lot of those traditional uh, caramel vanilla notes. Uh, it skews a very different range for me, very fruity, very chocolatey, very spicy, unique spices. So if you're a caramel bomb person, you know what? This ain't going to be your jam. But still, you might like it. Might want to give it a try. So if you can find it for SRP, which is that 220 range, yeah, I think it is worth the money. 
I really do. I mean, given given what's two hundred twenty dollars out there in the market today, yeah, this is this is worth that. Plus, it comes in a nice box that you can later plant flowers in or use as a Christmas present or I don't know, bury a bird in. Not to say that I wish that your bird dies, but if you happen to have a bird, it's a, the right size of a box to bury a bird in or a hamster. I don't know. You do whatever the hell you want with the box. It's worth the money, but I wouldn't create I wouldn't pay crazy I cannot fucking talk today. I would not pay crazy secondary prices for this. So if you start seeing this get 600, 800, 1000 bucks, walk away. But it is quite tasty for that SRP of 220 range. I'd even say 300, 400 probably probably going to be um it's probably what you would find it for and yeah i'd probably spend that money especially if it was not my money and it was someone else's money but if it's your money and 400 dollars isn't a lot then yes but if you are going to spend 800 dollars on it i'd say no all right y'all i can't talk today so i'm gonna go ahead and just walk away but i will say this that this bourbon is quite tasty but it's a bourbon that's finished and if you want to know more about my thoughts on that well you know what you'll have to go through the channel or read my books or something like that because i've got a lot of thoughts on finished bourbons what are your thoughts on finished bourbons what are your thoughts on angels envy put it all in the comment section let me know and do you have a sweater that is more than 20 years old if so is it looking this good cheers y'all be safe out there and remember vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer Woo!